Hello everyone. Um, this is an overview of what we're gonna do in Math 113, and um, we will try to recall what we have done in Calculus 1 and 2, and then we will see what we will have in Math uh, 113. So if you try to recall what we did in Calculus 1, that we started with functions. So um, you have a function, and then you know how to graph it, and you have something like this. It's f of x, right? And here is the domain. We say this is a domain. Okay. And we will do the same thing, but you will see that when we have more than one independent variable, we actually have to look at more complex geometrical objects. So we start with, say, two variables. We have z is equal to f of x, y. And we also have the problem of domain. So domain over here, um, actually it's not going to be just an interval. It's going to be a region so like this. This is going to be d like that. And so in order to graph the function, we need to learn how to do 3D graphing. This is one over here. We have z over here, and x and y. So this would be our first topic, and this is in section 12.1, and also in 14.1. So we will start with these two sections at the beginning of the semester. And after we briefly gone through this part, and then we look at the derivative. Fortunately, when we look at the derivatives, we just need to remember that when we take derivatives, we only take derivatives with one variable at a time. So here we have derivative over here. And suppose you have another function, f of x, y. You have two variables. Then you have two derivatives. We call them partial derivatives. Take derivatives back to x and take derivatives back to y. And when we take derivatives, we take derivative respect to one variable at a time, and the other variable is considered a constant. Now, in calculus one, we look at the meaning of derivative, right? This is a tangent line slope. And for multivariable functions, we also need to do similar kind of stuff, but we see we, we're going to have a surface like that. So instead of a tangent line, we have a tangent plane. And so we need to learn how to find equations of planes as well as lines in 3D. So after, this is in chapter 14, section 3. After this one, we can actually look at uh, 3D geometry, and that's from 12.2 to 12.5. So that's what we're going to do, how to graph objects in 3D. So um, after we learn these things, then we have application of derivatives. And before that, remember that we always need to look at the chain rule, because Chain rule is essential, and chain rule takes a very interesting form when we have multivariables. And after that, we look at optimization problems. Again, when we are looking at optimization problems, we realize that we actually have more than one variables to look at. So we, if we want to find the maximum point, we are looking at something like this over here. Okay. And that's part three. Now, that essentially ends the differential calculus part. And then mainly in calculus two, we were talking about integrals, right? If we think about, this is what we had in the past. We say, oh, you can cut this area into many stripes and then add them up. And the integral from a to b, f of x dx, and that's going to be the limit of a Riemann sum, right? A Riemann sum over here. 
Now, when we have more than one independent variable, we actually have things just a little bit more complicated. And then we have something like this, and we have on top is a function. And we need to cut them actually into uh, still vertical stripes. And this is called double integral. Okay, this is the double integral. Actually, um, um, that's one. And we can actually look at how to integrate also three variables called triple integrals okay, and over a region. And this will be part four, and it's in chapter 14, um, chapter 15. Now, after chapter 15, we will discuss something actually pretty unique to multivariable functions. And that's chapter, four, chapter 16. And before that, we will look at arc length and area, et cetera, the application of integration. One interesting thing we're going to do is that we're going to find arc length in three-dimensional space, x, y, z. And this is a rather short chapter. This is called chapter 13. And we look at how to find tangent lines as well. And also we look at how to find so-called normal planes, etc. And that's chapter 14. And chapter 16 is about application of all the things we have learned. And this time we're going to look at a concept called vector fields. And we will extend integrals to line integrals and surface integrals. So we were able to say, for example, find out what's the total weight of a three-dimensional line. So we can actually cut them into slices and then integrate them together. And then we also have the surface integral. That means we have a surface over here, and you can actually chop them into, again, pieces and define functions on top. And then we can find that as well. Chapter 16 is really the main goal of multivariable calculus. After we introduce line integrals and surface integrals, then we're going to look at the connection between these five integrals, line integrals, surface integrals, double integrals, triple integrals, and the original one. And we will have the Green's theorem, Stokes' theorem, and Gauss' divergence theorem. All these things, they are related to the fundamental theorem of calculus. And they are just different forms of fundamental theorem of calculus in multivariable situation. OK, that's just an overview of what we're going to do in Math 113. And we will actually study each topic carefully and thoroughly. All right, that's all.